Hey YouTube, Silver Buyer here with a stack update video. Uh, this is my full stack, and um, I, I just left all the proofs in the boxes back there, and left the slab stuff in the NGC case. It's a lot of work to take all the proofs and stuff out. So, um, anyways, I got. Uh, 356.85 ounces of silver right now and I do sell on eBay um, so I have uh, 44.5 ounces that are either listed or I just sold uh, today and so I think that leaves me with 312.35 ounces uh, that's not listed or hasn't been sold on eBay. And, uh, you know, this is just a few short months, really. Uh, I um, never had more than... Uh, I was ma When I started stacking again last year, I was mainly just selling on eBay. And I, I don't think I ever had more than 50 to 100 ounces on hand at a time. Because uh, I just... Uh, flipped stuff real quick on eBay and and then you know paid some bills or whatever and had some fun and uh, then bought a few more things to sell you know so I just kind of started stacking myself uh, um, starting a personal stack for myself uh, maybe about four months ago and I had to sell some to pay for some unexpected medical bills and whatnot. Um, but I'm probably going to do another video about why I stack silver after this, so I'll go into that more. Um, but yeah, I just got a variety of world coins, and, and because of my... Uh, um, health issues this year. I haven't been going to the the local coin shop or um, the precious metals dealer that I usually deal with. So, like everything I have here was either eBay or um, like Provident, JM Bullion. Got some half ounce Perth Mint stuff, ten ounce bar. Uh, the New Wolf, and War of 1812, uh, Canadian, three quarter ounce um, coins. There's some World Coins, a Britannia, Philharmonic, Koala, Maple Leaf, Falcon. You know, everything you guys have seen before, Libertads, Elephants, Eagles, more Libertads, more Elephants. Uh, some Crocs, some one ounce goats, uh, one ounce year of the mouse, uh, ten ounce year of the horse, a couple of Scottsdale five ounce uh, silver buttons, which uh, are butt ugly by the way, in my opinion, but this is the type of thing that, you know, had these come out in the 80s? and just been made for a year or two these would be super collectible today I mean they already fetch a good premium on eBay uh, from Silvertown they've been selling them in auctions but um, yeah it's this is the kind of thing that you know had these been from the 80s I mean people would be paying like uh, you know 30 40 bucks an ounce for them today so, you know, sometimes, even though it might be ugly to you, it's, it is unique. And, you know, in the future, I think unique things are going to do well. Um, another thing, these Mutinies Metals Bars. I got a 50 gram and a couple one ounce. Some people don't like them, but <clears throat> um, I think they're going to do well in the future. Because really they're just um, garage pours and 
but they're the they're the nicest looking garage pours out there in my opinion and they're unique you know the the name's unique mutiny metals the logo you know it's a nice product and I, I will be buying some more direct eventually um, just been on a real buying spree lately and so you gotta pick and choose your battles and but I will be buying more of these mutinies, uh, mutiny metals bars because this is another thing that is going to do really well in the future um, in the collector's market. Uh, I've been selling co uh, collectible bullion on eBay off and on for over 13 years, and <clears throat> uh, you know something like this. The reason it's going to be do really well in the future and become really collectible in my opinion is that it's a garage pour and they're made by a teenager he gets the silver from his dad's pawn shop and hand pours the bars well this teenager is going to grow up he's going to move off to college start himself a family uh, and you know they probably won't continue making these you know, so they're a real small scale operation as it is now. And I just don't see the um, longevity of it, you know. E eventually, his dad's shop might close down. Or they're going to move on to another venture. You know, I just think it's a hobby and more than a business. You know, one, one thing I'm pretty sure of is 20 years from now... Um, you're still going to see Silvertown. You know, they've been around since like 1949. They're still going to be here in 20 years. But a small outfit like this, odds are they they won't be here in 20 years. So, you know, I look for for unique and uh unique things and stuff that I think will be collectible in the future. Uh, cause co collectors have money and they pay big. Um, it's got a Provident Metals 5 ounce bar, some uh, generic rounds, 10 ounce RCM bar, some Garisopa rounds, and you know, if you watched my last uh, stack update, you'll notice that things have changed. Uh, I'm, I, I get bored and I trade and I, um, buy and sell and, you know, so I'm always changing things up and, um, we got a roll of the half ounce horses recently and then in the slab coins there's 13 ounces there, uh, the other seven are one twentieth ounce gold pieces, but, um, you know, to give you an example, like, this Handy and Har uh, Harmon bar is really rare. You, you very rarely see them. I've seen, like, maybe th um, three in the last year, and only one on eBay. And the other two were from a friend of mine that gets some rare stuff in at his local coin store. So, uh he got these for like 23 bucks and I sold one for like 105 bucks to a collector so uh, you know that's what I'm talking about like you gotta um, recognize some of the collectible things uh, you know and maybe have an eye for stuff that might be collectible in the future so that you can make more than just uh, you know spot plus 30 cents selling to your local coin store or whatever And another thing that I think is going to do really well in the future because of its uniqueness is the tombstone bars. You know, I don't know how long Scottsdale is going to stick around. They might be here in 50 years, but they probably won't be making these in 50 years, even if they are still around. You know, and these are going to start toning, and, you know, you'll get ones with rainbow toning and stuff, natural toning, and collectors are going to go after that and 
So I will be buying more of those. You know, and then I got my uh, Britannia stuff. My horse privy Britannia is in the center. And then the lunar year of the horse um, coins. Uh, got those all on special from JM Bullion. And another unique one, the Marilyn Monroe from Colonial Mint, 1973. You know, I paid I paid uh, 50 bucks for this, but I've sold them for as much as 119. So, you know, I will pay a premium for stuff that I've uh, sold in the past. You know, that I know I can make profit on, or or stuff that I've never seen or rarely seen that I know I can make profit on. And that all helps add to the stack. Lots of this was just free silver that I obtained with the, the profits of selling on eBay. Um, you know, most of you might not look at it as free. I mean, that's just my, my point of view, though, is that... Um, I've made so much profit on eBay over the last year and a half or year, um, you know, that probably like three quarters of this stack was free. And it was only until recently when I just started seriously stacking and instead of throwing all my profits um, into frivolous things, but I'll get onto that in my next video here in a bit. Uh, so here's, here's my full stack. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe.